Mr. Raymore. Oh, hi, Molly. How are you? Good. Uh, did you decide on catering for the City Hall weekly dinners? We did. And we're going with the Bradford Brothers. They offered us a discount on the surf and turf. We just couldn't pass up. I understand. Well, if you need anything in the future, you know where to find me. Molly's Menu Magic. You name it, we cater it. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Molly. Food excellence. How'd it go? Good. Chamber of Commerce loved the sandwiches and cookies. They placed a standing lunch order for their monthly meeting. That's great. But we lost City Hall weekly dinners to the Bradford Brothers. What? No. Adding insult to injury, those were all over town. That was actually on the front door. They would love getting every catering job in this town, even if it meant putting us out of business. Well, good thing we put out the magnets before the holiday season. Those were a brilliant idea. Because no one throws magnets away. Unlike... <gasps> Any new calls? No. I should probably get in line to see Santa with all the other kids in town. Well, if you think that'll work, then I'll come with you. <sighs> okay, there. What do you think? You are amazing. You know, it's just missing one thing. Hmm. There. You are amazing. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I'm gonna go drop it off. Great, I'll start on the quiches. Oh, and I am meeting my brother for dinner at Christmas in the Square. Do you mind locking up after? Oh yeah, no problem. Tell Kyle I say hi. I will. Are you sure you can't join us for Christmas in the Keys? The beach house has more than enough room. I wish I could. I have a couple holiday orders. I just, I can't afford to cancel them. We're proud of you, baby sis. You're really making a go of your catering company. <laughs> well, I've sunk every penny I have into it. It's my lifelong dream. I, I can't afford to fail. It hasn't even been a year and you're already too busy for the annual Frost family Christmas vacation. Okay, we'll celebrate Christmas when I'm back. Is that? My ex and his new girlfriend. I thought he was a decent guy, what happened? We weren't on the same page and it took me much longer than it should have to realize that. And he refused to try new food. In my experience, the three C's of a healthy relationship are communication, commitment, and compromise. Mm. Okay, well, I will remember that when I decide to dive back into the dating pool. I just want you to be happy. If I can make Molly's Menu Magic a success, I will be as happy as a kid on Christmas morning. <laughs> Welcome home, Mr. Harrison. Or should I say, Mr. Jacob? A very funny, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's good to see you. It's good to oh. see you, too. What's the year doesn't seem enough? Well, not much use for event photographers around here. Do you have any luggage? Uh, no, no. I'll get it later. Where is she? She's in the library, putting the finishing touches on the Christmas tree. Okay, I'm going to catch up with you later. I want to surprise her. So glad to be back. You don't normally come until the morning of the Christmas gala. No, uh, my show in Milan ended early, so. I'm glad. And I expect full photo approval. Oh, that goes without saying. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hungry? Uh, no, I'll, I'll make myself something later if I get hungry. Since when do you cook? Well, I'm a whiz in the kitchen with anything to do with mixing milk or water, just the basic things. <laughs> Shall I show you the plans for this year's Christmas gala? Well, that's pretty much the same every year, isn't it? 
Tell you what, next year, when you take over the foundation, you can change things up however you like. I am not taking over the foundation. One of the cousins will be much better. The cousins have too many responsibilities as it is and are already stretched too thin. Tell you what, you're tired. We will discuss this at another time. That sounds good. Carson, I'm glad you're home. So am I. Tell me about Milan. Morning. Good morning. Would you like some juice or a Danish? Uh, no, just some tea. Ah, I got it. You don't have to take care of me. It's my job to take care of you. Maybe it's time to settle down in one place. Wow. That was an amazing impression of Aunt Jean. I may be parroting her concerns, but I think of you like my own nephew. I know, but I enjoy not having my future mapped out for me. No obligations, no one knows I'm part of the Harrison dynasty. Your aunt worries about you. I know she's looking forward to... The gala is a thank you to our board and benefactors, and I will not serve them an oversalted entree and dessert bars that taste as if they came from the day-old section of the supermarket. You quit? Fine. And meanwhile, I will look for a caterer who understands the meaning of high-quality cuisine. Thank you. Goodbye. We need a new caterer. Christmas gala's in eight days, right? I am well aware of that. Robert, who else do we have in the file? Oh, my, I appreciate your organizational abilities. So, which shall we choose? Hello? Happy holidays. How can I help you? Um, I'm looking for Molly Frost. I'm Molly. I'm Jean Harrison of the Harrison Foundation. Uh, yes, of course. Your family's done incredible things for the community. I mean, the grant you gave to the local school at Save the Arts program. All of the programs, really. I mean, it's incredible. What can I do for you, Mrs. Harrison? I could have called, but I find it is important to see the catering premises for myself. Understood. Uh, we have all our licenses and certifications. Yes, I see that. Every year we have a Christmas gala with a dinner on December 23rd. I know it's short notice. I would love to. Excellent. Are you available to come for an interview this afternoon at 3 o'clock? Oh, uh, an interview? I need to be assured that you can indeed create magical cuisine. Of course. I will be there. Thank you for the opportunity. No, thank you. Hey. Hi. Jean Harrison might want us to cater the Harrison Foundation Christmas Gala. That's the biggest event of the year. I know. <laughs> we have to be there at 3. I, I think she might want us to make her a meal. Oh, but what about the uh, Christmas dessert that we're catering for the Senior Citizen event this afternoon? Oh, right. That's today. Okay. If you can do that on your own, yeah. maybe Cindy can help me. Uh, oh, no. She's out of town. You don't know him, but my friend Taylor is a fantastic sous chef, and he's in between jobs right now. I'll just text him. Yes, please. And he's just one town away, so he's not that far. <sighs> Great. He's free. Wow, amazing. Okay, tell him to meet me there. Okay. Now I just have to figure out what to serve. Oh, you got this. You must be Molly. Lovely to meet you, Mr. Harrison. Mr. Harrison passed many years ago. I'm Robert, the long-time but not long-suffering estate manager. <laughs> Please come in. Thank you. Wow, it's beautiful. Jean decorated everything herself. Let me show you the kitchen. This is my dream kitchen. Jean would like you to prepare her a three-course holiday meal. You will, of course, be compensated for your time today. Any dietary restrictions? None whatsoever. 
So she does have a certain fondness for chocolate. After my own heart. When my sous chef arrives, will you send him in? Certainly. Good luck. Thank you. There you are, finally. Finally? Are your hands clean? Just washed them. Great, you can finish mincing the celery. Carrots need to be julienne, the parsnips need to be peeled and chopped. What are we making? A holiday heirloom tomato salad with a lemon thyme panko crusted chicken and a parsnip puree. For dessert, we're doing a pistachio cranberry fudge brownie. Yum. Hope I get to have some. Very funny. Get to work, we don't have much time. Yes, ma'am. Celery needs to be minced. Cut into very small pieces. Is that better? Who taught you how to hold a knife? You should move your hand up like that. It's better. This needs to be perfect. Why is that? Didn't Christina tell you? This is for Jean Harrison. She's fired nearly every catering company she's ever used. Apparently, she's impossible to please. Is that so? Who else hires a caterer to come to their house and cook as an interview? Well, I guess you didn't have to come. Are you kidding? This dinner could make my career. I need this job. Gotcha. Your sous chef is here. He's washing his hands. Uh, but then who? Carson, what are you doing down here? I was just coming in to get a snack and I was put to work. Your aunt would like to see you. Your aunt? Who's your aunt, not... Jean Harrison. Yeah, look, I'm really sorry. I was just... Everything looks delicious. Um... Carson! I'm sorry. And good luck. Champagne vinegar? Yes, I found some in the back of the pantry. You should have used the grainy mustard. And I think it needs a touch more garlic to balance out the lemon. You really know your flavoring agents. I have hosted many, many dinner parties over the years. Oh, you're done. Mm. Uh, would you like the dessert? Yes, I adapted my grandmother's recipe. She used to make it every December. This is very good. Thank you. But it doesn't compare with my grandfather's Christmas walnut fudge. If you have the recipe, I would be happy to make it for you. Unfortunately, the recipe was never written down, and despite many attempts, no one has ever managed to recreate it. I'm sorry if this was not up to your taste. Oh, no, it was delicious. Oh, so does that mean... Uh, Don is on the phone. Oh, this is the president of my board. I must take this call, if you'll excuse me. Oh, okay, uh, but the gala? Yes, I have another interview, and then I'll let you know my decision. Don, so good of you to get back to me. Yes, I wanted to... Hi. Uh, how'd it go? I don't know. Thanks for your help earlier. 
Oh, I just walked in the kitchen. You put me to work. <laughs> Look, I'm really sorry about that. I hope I didn't throw you after rhythm too much. I was just trying to be helpful. You're not going to tell your aunt what I said, are you? That she's uh, difficult and impossible to please? I didn't mean that. I never would have said that if I had known who you were. I know. That's what everyone says. All right, I'm her go. Your next interview's here. Uh... Okay. I've never met Taylor. I thought it was him. I just can't believe it was her nephew. <sighs> If he tells Gene what I said, we're definitely not getting the job. I'm kind of curious now. So you said his name was Carson? Yeah. What are you looking up? Let's try this link. Yeah, OK. So since the Great Depression, generations of Harrison family members have given back to the community to help make a better future for all. I didn't realize the foundation went back that far. Huh, here are photos from the Christmas gala. Oh, that's him. He's cute. <laughs> you can't tell me you didn't think he was attractive. I didn't notice. Really? Yes, I was focused on making a three-course meal. Oh, OK. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure we'll hear from them soon. Oh, getting the Harrison Gala dinner would be huge. I need this job. Yeah. <laughs> Here's to hoping. We got this. Hi. Carson. Am I disturbing you? Not at all. Come in. Sit down. Thanks. Uh, Where have you been hiding all evening? I was just upstairs on the phone with my agent, Isabella. She's planning my next gig. Is that right? Don't worry. It's not until after Christmas. Good. That's good. So, um, how'd the interviews with the caterers go? They were both professional. The food was fresh, delicious. The platings and presentation were both excellent, but I'm leaning toward the Bradford brothers. Uh, why's that? They've been in the business longer. They have more experience with dinners like this. I see. You know, I thought Molly's menu magic was impressive myself. Really? Why do you say that? Well, I saw her in the kitchen. Molly. Yes, Molly, in the kitchen. And I was impressed by her technique, mm. her attention to detail. She made every little thing look perfect. I thought you would appreciate that. Mm -hmm. After all, experience doesn't always equal energy and enthusiasm. You may be right. Molly's menu magic it is. Good. Carson, I am very happy to see you finally taking an interest in the gala. Well, you know me. I'm happy to help when I'm in town. Well, then, here you go. What? What? Take over planning the dinner. Aunt Gina, I've got, I've got no experience event planning. I just take the photographs. You're smart. You know what to do. I have faith in you. What about Stephanie? She's normally your second in command. Your cousin has enough on her plate, plus a new baby. And honestly, this year, I'm just feeling overwhelmed. I can't do this by myself anymore. OK. I'll take over the dinner. Thank you. I will give Molly a call. You can take it from there. All right. Carson, you know how important this dinner is. <laughs> yes, I know. But, Aunt Jean, this doesn't mean that I'm going to be working for the Foundation full time, OK? Our focus will be on making this Christmas gala the best that it can be. We can discuss your future role at another time. Who are these for? Oh, uh, Tammy. 
bookstore. Oh. Yeah, I'm prepping for the big art gallery holiday party tonight. It's gonna be like 200 people, you know? Wow, that's, that's great. Yeah. Have you heard from Jean Harrison? Uh, not yet, but uh, look, she was swooning over our lobster gnocchi, so I wouldn't hold my breath if I were you, no offense. None taken, I'm sure it was divine. <laughs> oh, uh, here, allow me. Excuse me. Molly Frost, hello? Yes, okay. That is fantastic. Thank you, Jean. Yes, I will be there. Thank you, thank you again. I better go, I have a big gala to plan. Good luck with your party tonight. Yes. Welcome back, and congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, this is for Jean. Walnut fudge. Feel free to help yourself. I'm not one for sweets, though I do enjoy a nice gingerbread every now and then. Hmm. Please, come in. Excuse me, Carson. Miss Molly is here for the catering meeting. It is uh, good to see you again. <laughs> I thought I was meeting Jean. Uh, actually, uh, Aunt Jean is letting me oversee the food this year. Oh. All right, I'll leave you two to it. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Uh, we didn't officially meet the other day. I'm Carson. Mm -hmm. Molly. Uh, shall we get started? Yes, please, have a seat. Those are cute. Oh, yeah, my, my aunt collects them. She's got like 200 in this house. Wow, it's quite the collection. Can I get you anything to drink? I'm fine, thank you. Have you decided on a menu? Uh, not yet. What about the budget? Uh, does that matter? It usually helps determine the menu options. Well, then it's a very important question. I'll find out. Okay, just to give me an idea, what did you serve last year? Uh, prime rib and, uh, no, uh, chicken and fish, I think. And a lot of tiny little puffy fancy things. Buffet or seated dinner? Look, the truth is, uh, I've been to every single one of these galas since I was five years old, and they're all kind of running together. How many people are you expecting? I will have to get back to you on that, too. What about the venue, the dinner space? What about it? Where is dinner happening? It's the same place every year. Which is where? It's, it's the living room, but uh, they use it for entertaining. Oh, do, do you want to have a look yourself? Yeah, that would be helpful. Good. Uh, it's back upstairs. Okay, uh, here it is. Um, we're gonna have all the, the furniture moved out and we're gonna have tables brought in. It's beautiful. I hear your gala is the Christmas party of the year. Yeah, I suppose it is. The dinner doubles as a fundraiser for the foundation. Essentially, it's another day in the office just with fancier food. Maybe we can change that with the menu. Holiday traditions unite family and friends. Food brings back memories, brings people together. I like that. Food is more than just food. Exactly. So we don't know the menu, budget, or number of people? Nope. But we do know the date, December 23rd. Oh, well, that's something. <laughs> he said he was going to get more details and get back to us. We need more icing. <gasps> There's more in the back. I'll get it. <laughs> Come in. Hey. Rough afternoon. <laughs> Occupational hazard. Ah. Uh. Mom, I don't think we have any. Ah, uh, this is Christina. Hi. You must be Carson. Hi, I've heard so much about you. I'm flattered, I think. We are beyond honored to be catering your foundation's Christmas gala dinner. Harrison family, legendary. <laughs> Thanks for saying that. Do you want something to drink or, or eat? Actually, or... we need more icing. Oh, no, I'm good. Thanks, though. So. Um, yeah, I'll... I'll... Good to meet you, Christina. You too. So... so uh, you first. <laughs> uh, do you have any more information? Uh, yes, so we are expecting 25 guests, approximately. Okay, budget? 
the high end. Menu? Now that is TBD. Uh, I thought we could discuss it over peppermint hot chocolate. My treat. I don't really... Strictly professional. It's like my favorite guilty pleasure when I'm in town. <laughs> sure. I'll grab my coat and clean up. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. You've had one of these before? Yes, every year since I was a kid. Well, then you know. <laughs> <sighs> I wait all year for this. <laughs> Where are you the rest of the year? Everywhere and nowhere. I'm an event photographer. Interesting. Do you work for a particular magazine? No, I freelance. Uh, my agent finds me work all over. Uh, one day it's a fashion show in Paris, the next it's a engagement party on a yacht in Ibiza, then it's a product tech launch party in Silicon Valley, blah, blah, blah. No, it sounds glamorous. Trust me, it's far from glamorous. It's long hours and I'm never in the same place for more than a week. So maintaining friendships, uh, it can be difficult. Yeah, that would be hard. So how did you get into event photography? Uh, it started as a favor for a friend's graduation party, and then it grew from there. But I, I really love nature photography. I want to do more of that, but it doesn't really pay well. There's not a lot of work. Oh, speaking of work, I had some ideas I wanted to show you. Yeah, bring it up. OK. For the hors d'oeuvres, I have a few options. So, these are the mini pesto and goat cheese appetizers. Wow, they look great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can I? Yeah. Yeah, everything looks great. That's, truth is, this isn't really my area of expertise. <laughs> I figured as much. Yeah, I, I, I'm just gonna mess this up. You're the expert, I trust you. What about Jean? No, don't worry, I'm gonna tell her I approve your menu choices, which I do. Okay, that was easy. Oh, and feel free to use our kitchen. Thank you, I appreciate that. That's it? You're leaving? Yeah, I have a lot of work to do. Thank you for the peppermint hot chocolate. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Oh, well, careful with the decorations. Thanks, just... Put them over there, and we'll arrange them later. Hi. You need a hand? I think everything is almost in. How did it go with the caterers? Uh, good. Yeah, she has fantastic ideas. We will need at least five different types of cocktail appetizers, including a vegetarian option for our newest board member, Anne. I will let her know. And Jean, look, I don't want you to worry about anything. I promise it's going to be fantastic. Oh, in regards to Molly, it was good, but it was not my grandfather Fred's Christmas fudge. Uh, what about his Christmas fudge? Did I never tell you this? <laughs> Your great-grandfather worked long hours, but every year before Christmas, he would take off a day to make his Christmas walnut fudge for all us kids. <laughs> he lived in York County, Maine, then. I never knew that. Whenever my parents weren't looking, Grandpa will sneak extra fudge to all us kids. <laughs> oh, just thinking about it, it brings back the fondest memories of my childhood. Well, because food can be more than just food. Yes, it really can be. The art dealer called. The three paintings he's been holding for us have sold. Oh. Uh, the paintings you were going to auction off at the gala. Mm -hmm. Well, I won't be using that gallery again. He apologizes for the inconvenience and hopes she'll find something else for the fundraiser. As much as I love the Christmas Gala, I am not going to miss dealing with all of this when I retire. I'll have to call Don, the president of our board. Robert, you always anticipate my needs. Excuse me. She's retiring? Not yet. But she's been thinking a lot about it lately. Wow. No one is going to come close to filling our shoes. 
Especially me, Robert. I'll see you later. Morning. Hi. I, uh... I thought I'd take you up in your offer to use the kitchen, as long as the chef doesn't mind. No, not at all. My aunt has someone come in early, and they leave meals in the fridge for the rest of the day. That's efficient? Well, she's surprisingly low maintenance when it comes to herself. I never said. I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> uh, can I grab something for you? Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Sorry. I... It's in the back seat. OK. You're right about food bringing back memories. I, I was talking to my Aunt Jean last night, and she was, she was telling me about her childhood, and apparently my family is from York County, Maine. Maine, really? That's cool. Did she say anything about the fudge? She liked it, and she appreciated you tried. I have more recipes. That's really sweet of you, literally. But uh, you don't have to go to the trouble. Feels like a challenge now. Then I wish you good luck. So, what are we making today? <sighs> Holiday cheesecake bars and almond sugar cookies. Well, put me to work, if you dare. Are your hands clean? Thank you, anyway. I appreciate your getting back to me. And season's greetings to you, too. I take it that wasn't good news? Unfortunately, no, it wasn't. Sorry to hear that. I am having zero luck. Everyone has already donated their big ticket items for the holiday season. Something will turn up. I hope so. What have you got there? Oh, it just arrived. It's from the children at the Harrison Community Center. <laughs> Perhaps it'll cheer you up. Oh. <laughs> this is why we do what we do, Robert. <laughs> this makes it all worthwhile. <laughs> I'll have it framed for you, if you like. Thank you. Oh, by the way, have you seen Carson? You've seen not hide nor hair of him all day. He is in the kitchen, helping the caterer bake Christmas cookies. He's baking. There's a first for everything. Well, I'm glad he's taking this seriously. Maybe it will help him see how much the foundation means. Hopefully. <laughs> I hope you didn't have to cancel any Christmas plans to do the gala. Uh, well, my family did go on holiday without me. What? <laughs> they went without you? Yeah, but I needed to stay in town. Making Molly's menu magic a success is my number one priority right now. And your significant other? Uh, my significant other is business right now. Well, I can relate to that. Are you close with your family? Yeah. My parents are still very much in love after all these years. You're lucky. You're lucky, too. You're part of the famous Harrison family. You're like a local celebrity. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think they think of me as the rebel of the family, though. Why is that? You know, can you... Braiding cookies is kind of complicated. <laughs> <laughs> can you give me a hand? You almost got it. Uh, yeah. Here. Okay. The left goes over the middle. Mm -hmm. And then the right goes over the middle. Try not to flatten the dough. Right. Here you go. Kind of like that? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And then you bend the top. That. It's a tricolor candy cane. <laughs> <laughs> You're a genius. Well, not quite, but I'll take it. Hey, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said you are a genius. Mm, these are really good. I see what you're doing. Your charm will not work on me. You think I'm charming? I'm not going to tell you what I think. <laughs> okay, I won't ask then. What's next? Okay, that goes on the tray, and then we'll sprinkle it with my super secret cookie seasoning. Super secret, do tell. The secret is in the blend, and that I will never tell. I'll get it out of you somehow. No, never. <laughs> it's empty. I'll refill. Oh, no. Christina must have used the rest, and this was the last container. Can you make more? 
Yeah, but I'll have to go to the countryside. If I leave now, I, I won't have time. I'll get my keys. I'm sure you're busy. I could have driven myself. It's no problem. I love a new adventure. Is that what makes you the outsider of the family? <laughs> Probably. You and your aunt seem close. Oh, we are. Aunt Jean never had children of her own, but she always treated me like I was her son. It's nice that you have each other. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Though sometimes I think she wishes I was more like my cousins. They all went to Ivy League schools, aren't they? RMBAs, work for the foundation. I imagine it would be hard not having separation between family and the family business. Yeah, especially when you're Harrison. Professionally, I go by Jacob, my middle name. Makes it easier. The Harrison name is so renowned. Doesn't it make you proud? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm really proud. But when people find out you're Harrison, they treat you differently. That's partly why I didn't tell you who I was when I met you in the kitchen that day. <laughs> I wonder what you would have done if you knew who I was. Oh, I would have kicked you out. <laughs> Fair enough. We need to make a quick detour. Wow. How did you know this was here? Well, I drove past it the other day. So did I. I never saw it. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it is. Sometimes it's nice to just slow down. I tend to worry about the future so much, I have to remind myself to just be here in the present moment. It's one of the first things I learned about photography, to just stop and look so I could really see. It's actually good advice. Sometimes I'm so focused on building my career, I forget why I got into it in the first place. Why did you? For my love of food and bringing people together. That's nice. May I? Uh, sure. <laughs> It's just a beautiful day. Mm. Thomas! <laughs> Hi! You made it! <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see you. Thank you. <laughs> Who's your friend? This is Carson. Thomas is an old friend and veteran. Well, it's very good to meet you, sir, and thank you for your service. Appreciate it. Just working on your order. I'll ring the dinner bell when it's ready. Great. Uh, sir, do you mind if I take some photographs of your property? He's a professional photographer. Sure, go ahead. Anything but the shed. It's a mess. <laughs> Fair enough. Do you need any help? No, I got it. Uh, you might want to keep an eye on your young man, make sure he doesn't wander too far. Oh, oh no, no. Uh, we're not together. He, uh, he's an employer. Oh, all right then. All right. All right. Thanks. See you in a bit. Hey. It's so beautiful here, especially during Christmas. <sighs> it really is. So how do you know Thomas? Oh, we always got our Christmas tree here. His wife used to run the farmer's market in the village. When she passed, he got rid of the shop, and now he sells everything from his house. <sighs> well, he seems like a really nice guy. Oh, he is. And you will not find better spices or herbs anywhere. Or Christmas trees. <laughs> yeah, they are really beautiful. That looks complicated. Uh, well, it takes some getting used to, for sure. Um, but I have another camera. Can you take some photos? Uh, <laughs> sure. Yeah. On, point, shoot, easy. Hmm. <laughs> How did I do? It's actually really good. You got an eye for this. <laughs> I mean, you're an artist after all. Well, food can be artistic, but I wouldn't necessarily call it art. Well, it incorporates all the senses. Okay, I'll give you that. Not to mention the plating and presentation aspects. Wow, you know more about catering than you've let on. I might have done a little bit of research this week. I'm impressed. Good. 
That's probably us. We should probably head back. Yeah, let's do it. Lead the way. Hope you got some good pictures. Oh, I, I did. In fact, uh, when I print them out, would you like some copies? I'd like that. Uh, how much do I owe you? I got this. It's okay, I can get it. No, it's for the gala. And this way I know you won't upcharge me. Uh, uh, no change necessary, sir. Merry Christmas. Well, that's mighty generous of you. Merry Christmas to you both. Uh, let me take this to the car. Uh, sure. Your employer, you say? Yep. Oh. So my aunt was just telling me that the Harrison Foundation holds uh, events every week in town for veterans. You don't say? Yeah, yeah. That's Ricard. Huh. There's meals, entertainment, and they've got a holiday festival coming up. You should check it out. They'd love your company. I might just do that. Happy holidays, Thomas. Oh, thanks, guys. Bye bye. Thank bye. you. <laughs> what? You might be a better ambassador for your family's foundation than you think. Sounds like you and Carson had fun. Surprisingly, it was a lot of fun. Is he single? It's strictly a professional relationship. Even if I was interested, which I'm not, he lives his life out of a suitcase. So people make long distance relationships work all the time. Okay, but if you're not on the same page or in the same place, it can only end in heartbreak. Hey, Carson isn't Phil, okay? He's not gonna string you along with a bunch of empty promises. I know, but I'm not willing to make the same mistake twice. There's no point in getting involved with someone if there's no future. Besides, we have nothing in common. Why would you say that? Uh, he's a trust fund baby, and I've been working since I was 15. If I fail, I lose everything. There's, there's no safety net. Uh, we're not going to fail. This gala is going to be the making of Molly's Menu Magic. That is the goal. Tomorrow, actually, we're going to start prepping the main courses. Oh, did you hear that the Bradford Brothers snag City Hall's big New Year's Eve party? Yes. All the more reason this has to go perfectly. Aren't you coming? I found a new fudge recipe I want to try. <laughs> is that for Jean again? Yes. Even if I have to attempt it a hundred times, I will get it right. Well, I really hope it doesn't take that many times. Good luck. Thanks. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, night. Molly, hello. What can I do for you? I have something for you to try. You are so kind, continuing to attempt to recreate it. This time I used an old-fashioned recipe using brown sugar. Go ahead, take a piece. Here's hoping. What do you think? It's delicious, but it's not my grandfather's. I'll keep trying to make it work. Maybe it's the cocoa powder. Your time is valuable. You don't need to waste any more of it on further fruitless attempts to please me. I don't mind. I have news. I can tell by the look on your face that it isn't good. What is it this time? Molly, please wait. Pierre phoned. He wishes he could help and he apologizes, but the sculpture won't be ready until after the gala. Oh, there goes that idea. Robert, do you still have the number for that antique restorer? Susan? Sarah? Sutton. Sutton Page. Yes, that's the one. Perhaps she has some antiques she would be willing to donate. I'll get it for you right away. Thank you. Now, Molly, Carson showed me your menu this morning. I hope he's being helpful. Yes, very helpful. Good. This is the first time that he's participated in any of our Foundation's events, so I'm glad to hear it. I have made some changes to the menu. Oh, right, of course. Um, no problem at all. Wonderful. We have a problem. Jean would like beef wellington instead of the prime rib entree. Nick's the ricotta meatballs. We can use them for the McHugh lunch. 
And she saw the candy cane dessert and she would prefer that we do not serve those because they do not look professional. I mean, they haven't even been baked or decorated yet. <sighs> She's something else. Who's something else? I'll call you back. Hi. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, I thought you approved the menu. Oh, I did. Why? I'll talk to her. If she put me in charge, she needs to trust me. No, I, I don't want to cause any trouble. I'll do whatever she wants, it's fine. Well, I don't know why the menu is such a big deal anyway. Everyone's gonna love whatever delicious entree you make. And, you know, I didn't spend all that time braiding those cookies not to serve them. Seriously, don't worry about it. No, I don't think you understand. This dinner and Jean Harrison's opinion, it can make or break my career. I love my aunt, but she runs one wonderful, but in the grand scheme of things, relatively small foundation. I don't know why the people of this town make such a big deal of one person's opinion, to be honest. Okay. I know you grew up with it, but do you know anything about your family's foundation? What? Just... Come with me. Where are we going? You'll see. This time you have to trust me. All right. But I'm driving. Fine. My car's a mess. I'll get my coat. At some point, you were going to have to tell me where we're going. The Harrison Community Center. Have you been recently? You know, I don't think I've ever been inside. Really? Well, that answer is about to change. I spent many, many hours here as a kid. You did. I love your costume. Christmas ballerina. Wow. <laughs> Excellent twirling. Very well done. <laughs> so all the kids here, just for the holiday, or is this a regular thing? The Harrison Community Center offers after-school, weekend, holiday care for all kids. Everyone's welcome. And it's free. Oh, they are so creative. <laughs> you mind if I help? You need a hand? Hold it there, and then you can, with the other hand, grab that. Nice. <laughs> this is actually where I learned about royal icing and piping techniques. You learned that here? Mm-hmm. Miss Zona was the wonderful cookie teacher who taught us. She was the best. She's the reason why I became a baker. <laughs> Hi, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Amber runs Bendel Bakery, and she volunteers here on her days off. Hi, Amber. Hi. Well, Molly and I, we switch off weekends, but she hosts a cooking class for the kids in her very own kitchen. Uh, She's pretty fantastic. Yes, she is. Mm-hmm. I am. Um, be right back. Growing up, both my parents worked, so my brothers and I spent almost every day here. The money they saved, I mean, it helped put us through college. Wow. I really am so grateful to your family. We all are. Thank you for sharing that with me. <clears throat> oh, oh, sorry. Hey, Stephen would like to uh, give you something. Would you like a Christmas cookie? I uh, don't mind if I do. Can I take that one? Oh, thank you. Did you ice these? Are you sure they look professionally decorated? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> wow. That, that is one of the best Christmas cookies I've ever had, young man. And the icing is perfect. I've been decorating cookies since I was a little kid. <laughs> well, you keep up the good work, the great work. <laughs> I, um, I didn't catch your name. It's Carson. Carson, as in uh, Harrison. Mm -hmm. I can't begin to tell you how thankful we all are to your family for everything that they've done for the town. I mean, from the center to the arts program in the school. Really, for everything, your family is the best. I mean, I could go on and on. Thanks, thanks. Okay, well, I should. Come back again soon. Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Bye. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Happy Bye. holidays. Happy later. Okay, thank Bye. you. Thank you very much. Okay. Again. And that is what happens when people find out I'm a Harrison around here. <laughs> it isn't about you. It's about the Harrison Foundation. Oh, All the good they do for so many kids. No, I, I get that, but my entire life, 
All anyone ever talked about was the Harrison Foundation. Felt like everything was kind of mapped out for me, especially by Aunt Jean. Okay. I wouldn't like that either. Feeling like I don't have a choice. Yeah, that's why I bought that camera, that plane ticket. Felt like I had to get out before I got trapped. <laughs> well, you have a great career doing what you love. I understand not wanting to give that up. I loved it in the beginning, when I was caught up in the excitement of that kind of life. But now... Now... You want to go get a hot cider? Yeah. Sure, I have time. Let's go to Nick's Cafe. Nick's? Nick's. Seriously, thank you so much for today. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm ashamed to say that I have seen the financial reports, but that is the first time that I have seen people directly benefiting from my family's foundation. It was a... You were great with the kids. Like it or not, I think you're a natural. Thanks. Enough about me. Did you always want to be a chef and caterer? Yeah, I mean, when I was a kid, I used to have Christmas tea parties with my dolls and dinosaurs. Dinosaurs? Mm. At a Christmas tea party. T-Rex would have three or four helpings, which is really the greatest compliment for a cook. It's probably the best meal of his life. It was. <laughs> I just hope your aunt feels the same way. Look, please do not stress about her. I'm gonna be with you every step of the way, I promise. <sighs> Thank you. Isabella, my agent. We have talked so much about me and the foundation. I really want to... I'm sorry. Uh, no, she's uh, not extremely patient. Uh, probably makes her a great agent. That's okay. Uh, we should get going anyway. I left Christina holding down the fort. I guess we should. Oh, Carson, give me some advice. Do you think that candle should be over there? Balance? Uh, no. No, I, th I think it looks great. Oh, how are plans going for the dinner? It's great. She's great. Everything is going to be... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, yeah. Great. great. I know this isn't how you would choose to spend your time while you're at home, but I do appreciate the help. Of course. I'll well, tell you the truth. Catering, event planning, it's kind of fun. This is the first year we won't have a silent auction. What, what about the antiques? I'm afraid that didn't work out. Oh, no. It is what it is. We will get through the best we can, as always. But there have to be other places it's we can... It's too late in the year. People are already gone for the holidays. It's been a long day. I'm tired. I've got to turn in. Good night. Good night. Taking that up for Angie? Is she feeling okay? Oh, don't worry, she's not ill. I think it's just all the stress of the gala. A couple more days, it'll be over for another year. Carson, Jean has devoted her entire life to this foundation and to serving the people of the community. I think she deserves to be catered to every now and then. I appreciate how much you care. It's impossible for anyone who knows your aunt not to care about her. It is rare to meet someone who is so genuinely selfless. Now, if you'll excuse me. Robert, she's lucky to have you. Thank you for saying so. Now I need to call a few more of these auction houses, see if I can find anything at all. That's a good idea. Hi. <laughs> well, I haven't seen you for a few days. I've been prepping at my place with Christina. I send you updates. Oh, well, I know. I just like getting the updates in person better. <laughs> well, we're in good shape. Had a schedule, actually. Good. I just came to drop a few things off. I actually have a second cooler, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, of course not. How's Jean feeling? Oh, better. I think she was just upset because of the silent auction. I, I called like a dozen places and nothing. 
Won't people donate to the foundation with or without the auction? Oh yeah, they, they will, but it's tradition. I think people like party favors, even if they have to pay for it themselves. You've been taking photos all week. Yeah, every week. How many do you have? Oh, I don't know, hundreds, I haven't counted. Will you show me? Yes. How long will it take to get them printed in frame? Molly, that, that is a brilliant idea. Do we have everything? Yeah, I think so. And I got this for Aunt June's collection. <laughs> oh, I think she'll like it. Yeah, I think so too. Should we tell her? Hmm. Well, why don't we set everything up first and then we can surprise her just before the gala. Okay. Sounds like a plan. When do you think people are actually gonna bid on these? Were you fishing for a compliment? <laughs> it's just been a while since I shared this kind of work. They could all use a little touching up. If I had more time. No one is gonna critique them. They're gonna bid on a photo that makes them feel something. Like this one. It reminds me of when my parents used to drive us around town to look at Christmas lights. It always made me feel so warm and cozy. What? You just gave me another idea. I need to get back to the kitchen, but I can't wait to hear that idea. Yeah, I gotta see if it works first. Great. Bye. I thought you might like some tea. Oh, Robert, you are so thoughtful. Why don't you join me? I'd be glad to. You anticipated me. That's because you are always so thoughtful. <laughs> Thank you. You always spill. I do not. Oh. Carson surprised me with him. That was thoughtful of him. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. You know, I always look forward to the Christmas gala all year. Now, well, now it just feels like a chore. You've been doing the lion's share of the work for so long. Go ahead. Say it. I was foolish, hoping that Carson would change his mind about settling down and taking over the foundation. It wasn't foolish. Carson has always done things in his own way and in his own time. He may be surprised. I don't think so. Once this gala is done, I think I am going to have to focus on finding someone else. What you have done with the foundation, no matter what happens or who you bring on board, you will always be an inspiration to everyone who knows you. Robert, <laughs> that means more than you know. <laughs> Thank you. You are a dear. Did you confirm the servers? Yeah, they'll be here by four. Great. Carson said most people should be gone by nine. And if anyone complains, to send them to him. It's actually been very helpful this week. You really like him. Don't deny it. I mean, he's smart and funny and charming. Okay, it was unexpected. I have never heard you gush about anyone like that. Does he know how you feel? He's a client, Christina. I think that you should meet him under the mistletoe and show him exactly how you feel. Very funny. <laughs> He already said his job makes relationships impossible, and I don't want to waste any more time on someone who's unavailable. Okay. I just... Well, I believe that life's too short to leave the most important things left unsaid. Noted. I gotta go. I'll see you there. Yep, yeah, I'll see you there. <laughs> Tell him! <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Just looking for Molly. She's not here yet. Oh, I see. Muffin? No, thanks. Something on your mind? Oh, I was just thinking about the gala. Well, don't worry. After tonight, you'll be off the hook for another year. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? 
Uh, I'm just thinking about my legacy as a Harrison. This sounds serious. You know, I've always fought so hard against it, and now I'm starting to wonder why. Everyone wants to know that what they do matters. It gives our life meaning, but it's up to you to determine what that should be. Aren't you the one that's always telling me I have an obligation to my family? You do. But you also have one to yourself. Servers. I thought they were supposed to be here by now. They got lost. They'll be here in five. How's everything going? Are you here to volunteer your sous chef services? Ah, uh, no, not this time. But can I steal you for a few minutes? You do know I'm in the middle of trying to serve a big party, right? Yes, I know, Molly. But it won't take long, I promise. Are you good? Oh, yeah. Okay. Thanks. You okay? Carson, I do not have time for this. Well, we have a little surprise for you. You know I'm not one for surprises. Well, hopefully you like this one. Open your eyes. What did you do? It's for the silent auction. Are these your photographs? They are. <sighs> it was Molly's brilliant idea. In fact, she inspired me to involve the children from the community center, and this is their artwork. This was your idea? Thanks to you. I love it. Well, it's, it's not my usual work, but uh, what do you think? I think it's your best work ever. Thank you. Oh. Mm -hmm. And thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Carson said you were impressive, and he was right. I must go tell Robert. Thank you, you've saved the day. Did you say that? Yes, I did. Look, uh, I've met a lot of people in my life, and you're definitely one of the most impressive. Hello? Carson. Isabella, Hi. what are you doing here? Well, if you would answer your phone, you would know that Aaliyah Tracy requested you to photograph her spur of the moment Christmas party in Berlin. The Aaliyah Tracy. Uh, sorry, this is Molly. Um, this is Isabella, my, my agent. Hi. Uh, well, go grab your gear. I've got a car waiting outside to take us to the airport. Come on, we need to go. Go grab your stuff. Uh, Isabella. I should get back to the kitchen. It was nice to meet you. Uh, I asked you not to book me for anything until after Christmas. I know you said that, but this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. See, the thing is, my family, they only ask one thing of me, and that's that I'm here for the annual Christmas gala. So I can't leave now. Okay. Uh, when's the gala? Tonight? Yeah. Oh, well, we can leave right after, or early in the morning. It'll be tight, but I can make it work. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Carson, this gig is everything we've been working towards. I mean, you do this, you're on the short list of photographers for every A-list event there is. This is your golden opportunity. You're right. No, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, come on, give me a drink. Okay, holiday punch is ready to go. Good, looks good. Are you all right? Did something happen? Carson's agent is here. She's beautiful, by the way. Is she here for the gala? No. She booked him to photograph Aaliyah Tracy's Christmas party in Berlin. Whoa, he's a big deal. But that means that he's leaving. This is exactly why I didn't want to get involved. I knew he wasn't staying. I, I can't worry about it right now. I need to focus on making sure that this dinner is perfect. Just checking. How's everything? Great. Uh, we are almost ready to get this gala started. Excellent. Gingerbread. My favorite. May I? Please do. I added them to the menu for you. That was very thoughtful of you. Mmm. 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 
I'm also meant to tell you that Carson is hoping for a private word with you. I don't have time. I will have to speak with him later. If he's still here. All right. I'll tell him. Okay. Food is ready. Drinks are set. These servers are setting the dessert table. Am I forgetting anything? You might want to get changed. All right. Okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Merry Christmas, Don. It's good to see you. And to you, my friend. We'll see you inside. Absolutely. Well, Merry Christmas. Thank you for being with us tonight. We're delighted that you're here. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Don. Inspired photos and artwork. My wife has been on at least three already. It was Carson's idea to incorporate the children's art from the Harrison Community Center. It's gonna be good. I'm proud to be here. Congratulations to you. I haven't done anything yet. Hmm. Well, get ready. After this, you are gonna be in high demand. Hey, look at you. You clean up nicely. <laughs> Thanks. How's everything going here? Yeah, we are ready to serve as soon as they're ready to eat. Okay. That's right after the introduction speeches. Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this year's Christmas Gala for the Harrison Foundation. Thanks to all of you here, thousands of people in our community are living enriched and better lives. I also want to thank my nephew, Carson Jacob, the extraordinary photographer who is responsible for this year's silent auction artwork. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Angie. Uh, thank you all for being here tonight, and, uh, and Merry Christmas to you all. Uh, well, I, I've spent most of my life trying to find meaning through a camera lens, but this last week has opened my eyes to the real differences that we make in people's lives every day. I, I've been privileged to, to play my small part in this year's Christmas Gala, and I'm very happy to announce that I will be taking a more active role in next year's Christmas Gala. And who knows what the future holds. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> Uh, everyone, uh, please enjoy. Enjoy your drinks. Enjoy dinner. Enjoy the night. Uh, you don't have to bid on, on my photographs or the children's paintings, but if you don't, I will tell the children. <laughs> enjoy, everyone. It really is. Can I help you with something? Please chill this for later. We're celebrating Carson's decision to take a more active role in the foundation. I heard his speech. Assigning him to oversee the catering was the best thing I could have done to get him involved. You assigned him to oversee me? Like, like a job? Yes, and it worked like a charm. I believe that things work out the way they're supposed to, but sometimes you just have to give a little nudge, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the food is just delicious. I hope you will continue catering for me. Yes, I would love to. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Good. I must get back to my guests. Thank you very much. Cheers. Next board meeting is on the 15th. You're in town, you should come. We have some new agenda items to discuss. Well, I'll have to check my schedule. But whatever the board decides, please keep that community center going. All right, we will. Yeah. It means a lot to a lot of people. If you'll excuse me. Of course. Hey, you want to take a break? I can handle it from here. 
Am I that obvious? No, but I know you. Yeah, I could use some mirror. I owe you one. <laughs> okay, really good to see you guys. Thank you. Bye. Uh, Chocolate mousse? Uh, no, thanks. Uh, was Molly just here? Um, no, I'm not sure. Um, hey, I heard about Leah Tracy. That's pretty amazing. It is, isn't it? I'm so proud of you. Never give up on your dream and look at him now. So I booked the jet for 10 a.m. sharp tomorrow morning. And uh, your gear, I'm going to have sent to Berlin, so you don't have to worry about that. No. Hi, Christina. I'm looking for Molly. She's not answering her phone. Oh, she had to go prep a Christmas Eve brunch for tomorrow, but she asked me to say goodbye for her and to give you a message. Yeah? If you were happy with our services, I know she'd be grateful if you left a positive review online. That's it? That's it. <laughs> um, sure. It's the least I can do. Exactly. Came to say goodnight. Where's Isabella? Oh, I walked her to a car. She's staying at a B&B downtown. Why don't I find us a few glasses so we can have a toast? Well, actually, uh, I've got an early flight in the morning. Do what you need to do. I understand. You do? Carson, the Foundation has always been my passion. Seeing your work tonight helped me realize that photography is yours. You must do what makes you happy. And I will be glad to have you in the Foundation at whatever level you choose. Thank you, Angie. I really appreciate everything you did for us this week. Now you go get some rest. Good night, Angie. Good night, Robert. Good night. Well, apart from Carson leaving early, this night could not have been better. I had every faith in you. Oh, Robert, you truly are the best. I don't know what I would do without you. No, wait. There's something that I have wanted to tell you for a long time now. I hope it's the same thing I have been wanting to tell you. Robert, you're fired. I don't know what I would do without you. And I never want to find out. I love you, Jean. Will you marry me? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Robert. I love you, too. Yes. dropped off at the Christmas cupcake tree and they were just saying what a huge success the gala was. <sighs> yeah, we, uh, we already have a big New Year's Eve party and 10 events in January. What? That's incredible. You must be thrilled. I am. Of course. Did you talk to Carson before he left? What's the point in dragging it out? 
he is living his best life and I am focusing on mine. Yeah, yeah, I suppose that's right. Clean break is the best way to move on faster. Right. And you know what? Jimmy's got a bunch of nice single friends that I can introduce you to. <laughs> you know, I have everything handled here. Why don't you take today and tomorrow off and spend time with Jimmy and his family over the holidays? If you're sure. Yeah. Aw, Merry Christmas. Good job on the gala. Merry Christmas. Yeah. all this we're getting married <laughs> well it's about time <laughs> congratulations oh, thank oh you. congratulations thank you oh Robert congratulations well, I'd say welcome to the family but you've always been a part of it that means a lot I'm so sorry you have to leave me too <laughs> oh that's, uh, Isabella waiting in the car. Have a safe trip. Call us when you get to Berlin. Will do. What's the matter? Did you forget something? Am I doing the right thing here? Only you know that. Carson. You say you see the world through a lens, and it's wonderful. But you must listen with your heart to find the right answer. I love you. I love you too. Congratulations again, you crazy kids. <laughs> Bye. Ready to go? Just by word of mouth alone, I have got you booked solid for the next six months. Fashion show, supermodel's birthday party, so much. Come on, let's go. Isabella, I really appreciate everything you've done for me. But I just realized that I want to do something more meaningful with my life. I want to spend my days with people I care about who care about me, too. I'm staying. Is this about the caterer? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I hope she's worth what you'd be giving up. Oh, she's worth what I'd be gaining. True love always is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for everything. And I'm really sorry about Aaliyah Tracy. Nah, I'll get Brayden to cover it. She won't know the difference. Good luck to you, Carson. Thanks. You too. Okay. See ya. Did you forget something last night? I brought you this. 
You're a dear to keep trying, but you should give up. I have. It's my last try. All right. What have you done? Carson told me your grandfather's from York County. I did research on that area of Maine and they're known for their hickory trees. He didn't use walnuts in his recipe, he used hickory nuts. Oh my goodness. You are marvelous. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Thank you. Uh, Molly, uh, I know it's Christmas Eve, uh, but if your catering services are available, I'd like to ask a favor. Uh, of course. Um, it is the last night of Christmas in the Square, and the Harrison Foundation booth has been handing out Christmas cookies, but I'd like to offer them a real treat. May I place an order for my Christmas fudge? Yeah, I can make that happen. At what time do you need it delivered? Seven o'clock. Okay. Merry Christmas. And to you, too. You look happy. This is turning out to be the best Christmas ever. I couldn't agree <laughs> with you more, my love. Do you want to taste this? Thank you. Hickory nuts. Hey, hey, Molly, Molly. I was looking for you. Look. I got an idea. How about we join forces, huh? Bradford Brothers plus, you know, Molly's magical menu. <sighs> I appreciate the offer, but I think I'm gonna take my chances, see how I do on my own. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no problem. You change your mind, you know where to find me. Merry Christmas, Leo. Buon Natale, huh? <laughs> Focus with that and see what happens in the lens. Try and take one there. Uh, hold on to that with dear life. Hi. Hi. I, uh, I brought the fudge. The fudge? Your aunt, she placed an order. I, I thought she was going to be here. She, she was supposed to be here, but she had to do something with Robert at the last minute, and she asked me to cover for her. <laughs> really? I think Aunt Jeannie's playing matchmaker. Thanks. Uh, Adrian, can you give this to Nick? Thanks, little buddy. Uh, where is Isabella? I thought you guys were on an early flight. Isabella is on a flight to Berlin. What about the big event? I mean, that's your career on the line. Not anymore. You're looking at the new executive director of the Harrison Foundation, slash chief photographer. Okay. Molly, this is my home. And over the last week, someone very special to me has shown me life through a new lens. And I'm never gonna look back. So, you're sticking around for a while? Yeah, I think so. Does this sound good to you? Yeah, it sounds better than peppermint hot cocoa. <laughs> you're absolutely right. I know. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Molly. Merry Christmas. <laughs>